So you're looking for a fire persona to build, and if you're like me and really don't like the way that Mara looks, then you're in the right place. For those still wanting a Mara build, that will come eventually, but I think that because Cerberus is more of an offensive heavy persona, I decided to go with him instead. Cerberus is the ideal fire persona, because unlike Mara, he has two crucial innate skills, meaning that we don't have to waste inheritance skill slots on them, leaving it open for more skills. While it is true that Mara is overall more damage resistant, the fact that I can amplify ailment infliction more effectively with Cerberus makes him more valuable to me overall. Before going further, I would like to warn you on two things. First, this build requires the fire boost skill card, as well as one other, which I will talk about later in the video. And second, warn you by saying that the Black Frost in my previous video will be used here, so if you haven't seen it yet, a link in the description below will contain all of my build videos. Watch it, build a Black Frost, and then come back so we can break down this build. So innately, Cerberus learns Inferno, which is the strongest fire skill in the game, and to complement it, he also learns Fire Amp. Then he also learns Enduring Soul, so you don't have to be afraid of getting insta-deleted. Before I break down what I want him to inherit from the fusion path, you need the Fire Boost skill card, as this cannot be inherited and one of the following cards, Ailment Boost, Burn Boost, or Soul Thief, the rest can all be inherited. Now, as far as what he can obtain from the Fusion Path, Spellmaster is just to offset the expense of Inferno, Burn Boost, as well as Ailment Boost, are just to increase the odds of landing burns, and lastly, to take advantage of that, you want Soul Thief, as this will allow you to gain SP every time you manage to burn an opponent. Of course, Fire Boost from the skill card, will increase your damage even further. Again, unfortunately, you will only be able to pick three of these four skills from the fusion path, so just pick the ones you don't have. Well, specifically, you do need Spell Master, as you can't get this on a skill card, and you should be good. As far as the fusion path goes, you will need a Thor and a Yadagarasu, with Thor being the main bearer of the skills. So to start, Yadagarasu doesn't serve a purpose in the build, so just leave him be. But for Thor, you will need to start with my Black Frost. Again, video link in the description below, and then fuse it into a High Pixie, then to an Ame no Uzume, then to a Pixie, then to a Silky, then to a Queen Mob, then to a Jacko Lantern, which you will need to level up to 43 to have it learn Burn Boost, and then be able to fuse it into a Ganesha, which will finally lead to our Thor. Once both ingredients are complete, you will have your Cerberus, and he does fuse forward into multiple personas, and I personally would fuse him towards a slime, as that is the lowest of the bunch. That being said, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll leave you with a combo showcase. ありがとうな。